Welcome to the future of urban living. Today we explore a unique architectural phenomenon in China. These colossal structures, often home to tens of thousands of residents, are self-contained ecosystems offering everything from supermarkets and schools to parks and swimming pools, all within their walls. Join me as we venture inside these dystopian apartment blocks, meeting the people who call them home and examining the implications of this radical approach to urban living. Are these mega blocks a glimpse into the future of our cities? Or are they a modern urban experiment with unforeseen consequences? Imagine a life where everything you need is just an elevator ride away. This is the reality for residents of these mega blocks. Need groceries? Pop down to the supermarket on the third floor. Fancy a swim? The indoor pool on the 10th floor awaits. Children need to be schooled. The on-site kindergarten and primary school have it covered. With everything available within the complex, there's theoretically no need to step outside. Proponents argue that this model reduces reliance on cars, minimizes commute times, and fosters a strong sense of community. Critics, however, question the potential social isolation and psychological impact of living in such a confined environment. Whether utopia or dystopia, these megablocks offer a fascinating glimpse into a future where the lines between public and private space become increasingly blurred. Stepping inside one of these megablocks is akin to entering a bustling city within a city. With populations often exceeding 20,000, these vertical villages teem with life. From elderly residents practicing Tai Chi in the courtyard to young professionals hurrying to work, the atmosphere is a blend of frenetic energy and surprising tranquility. Many also boast medical clinics, entertainment centers, and even co-working spaces. This creates a self-sustaining ecosystem where residents can live, work, and play without ever leaving the confines of their building. Shared amenities and common spaces provide ample opportunities for interaction. However, it also raises questions about privacy and personal space in an environment where anonymity is a luxury. The management of these mega-complexes is a logistical feat in itself. Life in a Chinese mega-block is a unique social experiment, offering both challenges and opportunities. The allure of convenience is undeniable. Imagine a life where your daily commute is a matter of seconds, where a trip to the supermarket takes minutes, and where entertainment and leisure facilities are always within easy reach, but is this unparalleled convenience a fair trade-off for the potential feeling of confinement? Critics argue that living in such close proximity to thousands of others, within the confines of a single structure, can lead to a sense of isolation and claustrophobia. The lack of green spaces and the constant hum of activity can be overwhelming for some. The question of convenience versus confinement is a complex one. As the global population continues to surge and cities swell at an unprecedented rate, architects and urban planners are grappling with the challenge of accommodating this influx of people. Could China's megablocks hold the key to the future of urban living? Proponents argue that this model offers a viable solution to the problems of urban sprawl, traffic congestion and environmental degradation. By concentrating populations within self-contained vertical cities, the need for extensive transportation networks is reduced and the environmental impact of urban living is minimized. Shared amenities and public spaces provide ample opportunities for interaction, while the proximity of essential services could create a more equitable and accessible living environment. Whether China's megablocks represent a utopian vision or a dystopian nightmare remains to be seen. Step inside one of these mega blocks and prepare to be amazed by the sheer scale and diversity of amenities on offer. From sprawling supermarkets stocked with fresh produce to bustling food courts offering a global culinary journey, these vertical villages cater to every need. Need a break from the hustle and bustle? Retreat to the tranquility of the rooftop garden, a verdant oasis amidst the concrete jungle. For fitness enthusiasts, there are state-of-the-art gyms, swimming pools, and even yoga studios. 
Parents can rest assured knowing that their children have access to on-site kindergartens and primary schools, eliminating the need for lengthy school runs. This self-contained approach to urban living is designed to create a seamless and effortless lifestyle. Among the many megablocks that dot the Chinese landscape, Regent International stands out for its sheer scale and ambition. Home to a staggering 20,000 residents, this self-contained city within a city epitomizes the trend of high-density, all-inclusive urban living. Spread across multiple towers, Regent International boasts a dizzying array of amenities, including supermarkets, restaurants, schools, medical clinics, and even a fire station. The management of such a vast and complex structure is a logistical feat in itself. Despite its size and complexity, Regent International strives to foster a sense of community among its residents. The term dystopian is often used to describe these mega blocks, conjuring images of a future where people are confined to concrete fortresses, stripped of their individuality and freedom. While this might seem like a scene from a science fiction novel, certain aspects of life in these complexes raise valid concerns about privacy, social control, and the potential for isolation. The constant surveillance with cameras monitoring every corner of the building can feel intrusive for some. The lack of anonymity with neighbors living in such close proximity can be stifling. While these technologies offer efficiency and security, they also raise questions about data privacy and the potential for misuse. It's important to note that not all residents experience these aspects negatively. Living in a Chinese megablock is a unique experience, offering a blend of convenience, community and confinement. On the plus side, these vertical villages offer unparalleled convenience. With everything from supermarkets and restaurants to schools and medical clinics located within the building, residents can enjoy an effortless and efficient lifestyle. The absence of lengthy commutes frees up valuable time for work, leisure or simply relaxing. Furthermore, the all-inclusive nature of these complexes fosters a strong sense of community. Shared amenities and public spaces provide ample opportunities for interaction, while regular social events and activities help to create a sense of belonging. However, this lifestyle is not without its drawbacks. The lack of privacy and personal space can be challenging for some, while the constant noise and activity can be overwhelming. The reliance on technology and the ubiquitous surveillance can feel intrusive, raising concerns about data privacy and social control. Imagine a life where you could go weeks, months or even years without ever leaving your building. While this might seem unfathomable to some, it's a reality for a growing number of residents in China's megablocks. With everything they need available within the confines of their vertical village, these individuals have little incentive to venture outside. From work and leisure to education and healthcare, their every need is catered for within the complex. For some, this self-imposed isolation is a welcome respite from the chaos and stress of city life. The convenience and security of the megablock provide a sense of comfort and control, shielding them from the uncertainties of the outside world. However, this lifestyle also raises concerns about social isolation and the potential psychological impact of living in such a confined environment. The line between luxury and lockdown can be blurry within the walls of a Chinese megablock. On the surface, these all-inclusive complexes offer a life of unparalleled comfort and convenience. Residents enjoy access to a wealth of amenities, from state-of-the-art gyms and swimming pools to rooftop gardens and shopping malls, all within the confines of their building. This lifestyle, however, comes at a cost. The price of an apartment in a megablock is often exorbitant, placing it out of reach for many. Those who can afford it enjoy a life of privilege and ease, shielded from the realities of life outside the complex. But is this true luxury, or does it resemble a gilded cage? The constant surveillance, the lack of privacy, and the potential for social control raise concerns about the true nature of life in these vertical villages. 
From the convenience of all-inclusive amenities to the potential for isolation and social control, we've explored the multifaceted reality of life in China's megablocks. These towering structures, home to tens of thousands of residents, represent a radical experiment in urban living, one that raises profound questions about the future of our cities and the way we live. As we've seen, life in a dystopian apartment block in China is a complex blend of luxury and limitation. What are your thoughts on this unique approach to urban living? Would you ever consider calling a mega block home? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations into the wonders of our world.